So lumbar degenerative disc disease is defined as uh, uh, simply as a VNT um, of uh, intervertebral disc that act as a cushion for the spine. The VNT uh, may result from uh, normal aging or maybe the results of a long-standing trauma. It means that the disc, which is between the vertebral bodies, is starting to um, get dehydrated. And as a result of that, so they can create um, uh, an environment, uh, inflammation, which um, um, produce pain. Okay, symptoms of uh, degenerative disc disease uh, may include um, uh, low back pain, pain, numbness, uh, pins and needles, or tingling in the lower legs, uh, pain that um, worsens when uh, bending, twisting, or uh, sitting. And um, this pain um, relieves when um, you're lying down. So it's mainly a mechanical type of pain, which uh, increases with um, activities. Over the time, the intervertebral disc loses its uh, flexibility, its elasticity, and its um, um, characteristics. So the disc degeneration can lead to disc bulging, development of bone um, spurs or osteophytes, and loss. Um, of this space high end alignment. This um, can um, cause then a nerve impingement, which um, results then in, in pain. So anyone can uh, get um, um, a disc um, a disease, um, but there are a few factors that uh, may uh, place you in a greater risk, uh, like uh, a history of uh, back injury, obesity, um, yeah, aging spine, meaning advancing age, um, presence of other conditions, including arthritis and uh, osteoporosis, um, physical demanding uh, jobs, um, particularly in um, uh, physical demanding activities such uh, contact sports, um, history of uh, poor posture or body mechanics, and um, Lastly, um, I would say smoking and tobacco use. With um, uh, advanced degenerative disc disease in the lumbar spine, the loss of the disc height can lead to segmental instability and resulting in um, the slippage of, um, of the bones. This is called degenerative spondylolisthesis. Um, you can, it can cause to um, asymmetric uh, disc high and um, movement of the um, uh, vertebral bodies side to side, resulting then to a deformity we call scoliosis. This um, advanced degenerative changes affecting the disc, affecting the joints and the surrounding soft tissue. It can further result in narrow spinal canal, known as um, degenerative stenosis. This can put um, increased pressure on, uh, on the spinal cord and spinal nerves, and um, that can cause further than um, uh, symptoms in the lower extremities, mainly pain. Surgery is um, um, surgery for low back pain caused by degenerative disc disease is only considered um, an option for patients who have um, not uh, sufficient uh, pain relief with um, uh, non-surgical conservative um, approaches like uh, physiotherapy, uh, medications, and pain management uh, tools. Uh, people who have um, recurrent disc protrusion and having symptoms um, from uh, the pressure of the nerves. Um, they have done investigation. It is proved that um, the main problem uh, in the pain generator is the disc and not other regions um, around uh, the, um, um, the spine. And um, as I usually say to all my patients, surgery is indicated when all the conservative waste has completely exhausted this that you've done your injections um, uh, under the pain management um, um, guidance, you've done your physiotherapy, you take your medication, you change your lifestyle, you lost weight, and if all this is uh, failing, then you're going for the surgery. The surgery, as an as a, um, option, 
would include in uh, the case of the degenerative uh, disc disease, uh, even a simple decompression or um, fusion, um, instrumented or non-instrumented. So some very uh, successful techniques uh, for fusion in the lumbar spine will include the anterior lumbar interbody fusion, the posterior lumbar interbody fusion, the transforaminal lumbar interbody fusion, the extreme lateral interbody fusion called X-lift or the oblique lumbar interbody fusion called uh, O-lift. 